This is where people are gonna hate me for this, because as I said at the intro, this film actually got generally positive reviews. I'm not one of these people that found this film positive, which is a shame, because Christopher Nolan, look at some of his stuff, Inception, Interstellar, the Batman trilogy, it was awesome, he really gets into it, but this was sort of missing something. The one thing about Inception, even today, the ending of Inception, people still argue about that. It's not something that's gonna happen with this film. People still have discussions about the meaning of Interstellar. That's not gonna happen with this one. People still praise Christopher, Christopher Bale's interpretation of Batman, led by Christopher Nolan. No one's gonna do that with this film. This film is missing everything that Christopher Nolan is good for. Now, I know this was his pet project, something he's wanted to make for a few years, but I did find it all over the place. I really, and I mean really struggled to watch this film. And I watched Mortal Kombat Annihilation a few weeks ago. But yeah, there was just so much dialogue. I'd rather see, you're watching a cinema. If this was a radio program, it probably would have worked a little bit better. You could probably just stick the soundtrack on the radio and people would probably get into it a lot more than what they did with this. The time travel stuff, although it was nice for the twists, it was all over the place. It didn't fully really understand. And the protagonist actually being the overall bad guy is, yeah, it, it was all over the place. Really, it was. Now saying that, the special effects were good. The fight scenes were actually really, imp really impressive. Especially as later on as you watch one of the fight scenes you saw in the beginning of the film from a different angle and realize what's going on and realize how impressive that fight scene is, is amazing. The cinematography, the special effects, like normal, has Christopher Nolan's fingerprints all over and I don't think he can make a bad looking film. It was just, in this case, the story, it didn't meet up to Christopher Nolan's own standards like he's done in the past. So what am I going to rank this film? This is where people are gonna hate me, but I'm sorry, I found this film extremely boring, so I'm going to give this a four out of 10 berries. Now, put all your hate comments in the comments below. Yeah, there we go. It's gotta be people, well, I, I can't be the only person that disliked this film, but I, yeah, sorry, I just found it boring. Anyway, on to next week. We are going to do a film that came out in 2016, but was a reboot of a film that came out in the 80s that was requested by someone else as well. If you want to get in touch with me, just search for at Berryman81. I'm on Twitter, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, I'm on TikTok. Just search for me on all one of those. And other than that, I look forward to seeing you next Sunday. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>